Hello everyone, my name is Prime and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases and today we are here in Korea or Dalan, or however you say that, I'm still struggling to say that, and we're heading down to Grangeville and we've got a Peterbilt 389, one that I've actually, uh, I did for my uh, first live stream and I've just kind of put the day cab back onto it, a few really nice, or a really nice metallic red paint job I have to say with the chrome accent, just straight pipe right out of it, uh, sounds really good with the Goodyear tires, I believe they're actually the wide, yeah they are the wide heavy duty tires so looks really good again with logs and uh, it should be a pretty good journey here we got a few things to talk about so why don't we hop in and get started of course i am doing manual so it is a 13 speed because that seems to be the best for my brain to wrap my head around right now um hopefully more will come uh more gears will come in the future but we'll just see on that one um thank you for to everyone who had tips uh last week uh or last week oop that was wrong uh, mouse movement there uh last episode on wednesday uh thank you for everyone who oh stalled the truck talk about tips much uh there we go uh hit the horn while i'm at it because just because um thank you to everyone who had the uh tips on how uh on the driving trend uh, standard and stuff like that and uh thank you for the feedback when it came to uh i want to go to forest there we go gonna get it eventually um Thank you to the feedback for uh, regarding the wheel cam. Uh, it will be hopefully then coming very soon. Obviously, it just depends on uh, it just depends on a uh, how, if I can get stuff set up and uh, how I want settings. Um, you never know. Uh, hopefully, within the next week or so, it should be up and going. Oh come on! Oh, I guess I went wrong wrong direction on the gears. That would be why. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to have that set up uh, quite soon, so we'll have to see. I've noticed that this thing really likes to uh, can use like an engine brake or something whenever you just let off. So I'm not 100% sure what that one's about. And so I think if we... Uh, I'm going to just uh, toggle my uh, thing here a little bit. There we go, so I can see the speeds a little bit better. Yeah, basically put. I'll just put the clutch in so you don't always have the um, engine brake or retarder. I'm not sure why it's activating. Um, honestly not. It's not like I have it set to automatic, uh, retarder or anything. So, uh, not sure on that one. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel. I say that all the time, but, uh, whether it's merch, obviously patron, or, um, just the views on a channel means a lot. Channel's growing significant, uh, significantly. I want to go, oh man, leave, they're leaving me in the dust. Let's go with third, probably fifth. And then probably can jump to eighth. Probably should have gone to sevens, but whatever. We'll uh, make do with that, considering we're just uh, going up a light here. And we get to start all over again. I'm going to just creep up a little bit here. But it does mean a lot, all the support, obviously. And uh, we have heard a little bit more on Wyoming, mainly just with the road networks, or at least as of recording this. Uh, I have... Uh, done the prime news and stuff the other day and uh, that's all I that's all I've heard so far knowing my luck though there'll probably be another blog post because that seems to always happen not sure why I should have gone the fifth really should have gone the sixth now I'm doing that now that seems to be a good uh, ratio in there I uh, uh, this is still pretty tough, I have to say considering it's only been a couple days since I uh, recorded the Wednesday episode um, and obviously while well, we're here now so I have to remember to be stay on the brakes too, because uh, if if not, I'll just start rolling. Because obviously, clutch. That's how it works. Um, but other than that, yes, the wheel cam is coming. Hopefully, within the next video or two. Um, I'm ac I was actually hoping to get it going for this one. Um, oh, again, third to fourth is a short ratio. Got to learn that in this truck. Slightly different transmission than the one uh, last time. Uh, but I had to, uh, uh, unfortunately, just have to figure out angles on, on uh, which I like, and that. Oh, I am in the wrong lane. Uh, and I kind of overshot it. That's not the camera I want. There we go. Well, it kind of works. We're just gonna yolo it here. Come on. There we go. Knew it was gonna engage somewhere. Oh, come on. I wanted six. There we go. Not sure why it uh, didn't want to go there. Oh, come on. There we go. See, the problem is with the toggle switch is that you just hit the button and you got to hope that it actually goes in. Um, sometimes it 
I, I found that doesn't always do it, and I gotta get over here. Oh man, this uh, this engine brake thing is getting on my nerves a little bit, and I don't know why. If anyone uh, has a Peterbilt in the game here and drives um, standard, does it do this naturally? Uh, I didn't think there was a game setting that I hit. I possibly did, but you never know, obviously. Um, sometimes things will just get hit accidentally, and uh, sometimes you can't do anything about it. I went too hard on the brakes there, so let's just try and uh, roll her up here a little bit farther. It's been a while since I've driven the, well, besides, I guess the last time I would have driven the Peterbilt 389 was in the live stream. Um, my first live stream, which was, again, one of the, it was the epic fail one, uh, because why not? You can't have a prime, prime episode or prime stream at some point. The first one's always got to be a little bit of a wreck, but hey, I've moved on. Second one went really well, and, uh, hopefully planning some more in the future. Now, the other thing is that I have uh, been recently made aware uh, by the Discord, some, pe some of the members of the community Discord, uh, that there's some possible iOS um, incompatibilities with 1.41. Oh, I am majorly speeding here, so I might as well use the uh, engine brake here, that whatever it's doing, the muzzle let it come down a little bit. That'll work. Um, and of course it speeds up. Big shock. Um, I've been made aware that some people's ATS on the 1.41 uh, beta, or at least one of the most recent uh, updates of it, uh, haven't actually been working. Uh, so that's kind of uh, strange, to be honest. And uh, obviously, I run Windows. I'm running perfectly fine here. There is a good chance that it is just an incompatib incompatibility right now. I know it was working. Um, and maybe by the time you're seeing this video, it uh, maybe will be working again. Because, again, it's maybe within the next 24 hours, they'll have it out if you're watching this at launch because uh, it's only a day before <laughs> anyways um, hopefully they'll have it fixed because I know there's quite a few of you who do use Apple um, or at least some of you that do use uh, ATS on a iOS device and well may not be working so well for you at the moment which is quite unfortunate especially when it comes to the beta uh, but what can you do? I'm sure that will be uh, fixed in the official release or maybe it's fixed now. Like I said, you never know. Uh, but as of Windows, I haven't heard any major issues uh, with the launching um, mechanism and stuff like that. It ever, everything seems to be going pretty well. Um, as far as I can tell, uh, I've haven't, I haven't had any strange, uh, issues other than, uh, one time where I launched the game and it was just kind of black screen, but I just had to tab out and then tab back in and it came back up. I don't know if that was just my system or if that was the update itself. Cause I didn't get, I've, I've never tried it on the, uh, any other way. So I wouldn't really know. Um, but yeah, might as well just, you know, the engine brake isn't necessarily, um, that bad here. Cause I can kind of just let it I mean it's kind of strange that it automatically goes but not 100% sure on that one it could I think it could be just how the engine is I am using the 625 horsepower cat engine so um, you never know and it's the Eaton th uh, 13 speed um, but it is the Peterbilt version so I'm not 100% because it wasn't doing that last episode uh, was the other was the Ken the W900 uh, so if I just put the clutch in it seems to help quite a bit uh, when it comes to that, it doesn't actually allow it to do it, which is quite handy. And then you just kind of gently release back in, and it seems to work fine. So like I said, it's been quite a while since I've driven the Peterbilt 389, and uh, it's nice to be back in it. And I do have to say, it looks quite lovely uh, in that uh, metallic red with the wheels. Oh man, the, the white Goodyear's on the side, or at least the white, uh, the white printed Goodyear on the side looks really good have to say and it's just something about driving uh the w900 and the uh the three the 389 here and it's just like back to back episodes it just kind of it makes you feel like and it, it not, not saying anything against the other trucks i know a lot of people have uh preferences on their trucks to be honest i really like the western star uh but i always do like uh your your good old kenworth w100 i need to figure out my toggles no, that's not it. Uh, that one. There we go. Oh, I guess we now gotta go to tents because I lost enough speed. Rip Prime and the shifting. Got uh, caught up with my camera situation and uh, not paying attention to what the gear was. 
and then uh, it was a little too late and then forgot that because it's an, the one thing that is annoying and then the one thing I kind of don't mind about uh, the Euro trucks is that they actually often have 12 speeds and I know a lot of the, some of the newer um, uh, ATS trucks have it as well um, but the W900 and the uh, 389 by the looks of it just have 13 speeds they go like from a 10 to a 13 uh, so you've got that X I have to have two toggle switches unfortunately it's to uh, go through it's a I could go down to a 10 speed but then you're sacrificing um, quite a bit of pulling power especially when you've even though I've, I've got a pretty big engine in this guy uh, gearing and stuff in the hills gets our, our sacrifice so kind of have to uh, kind of play the compromises there but to be honest it's really not that bad and so that's why I just go with the 13 speed it's just a matter of getting my brain wrapped around it I do feel like I am getting a little bit better at the shifting saying that you know uh, I stalled it right off the get or right out the gate there and uh, yeah it's just it's one of those things I'll learn oh gotta pull in for a uh, way station thing here oh that's not where I'm going I need to be up here just go ahead in here kind of late indicating but whatever might as well let the uh well I was gonna say let the engine brake do its thing but I might as well just coast right in here not maybe the technical way to do it but it works for me uh so let's see here try and get right up onto the uh scale I've already got it in Kind of in the top proper toggle switch here. Oh, hit hit my mouse the wrong way, but that's okay. Sixty-three thousand pounds. That is a lot. Looks like that uh, freightliner is waiting for me. So let's try and get out of here. Oh man, that cat! Uh, this uh, Peterbilt when it pulls that cat engine sounds so good. Sounds really good. I haven't actually taken logs for quite a while either. No, that's not what I want. I want to go sevens, I guess. I guess it could have gone eights, which I'll do now. Um, it has been quite a while. I think at the last time I did logs, uh, was probably with the, oh man, quite a while ago, I believe with the, uh, International Lone Star. I had, it was like a, uh, blue, I believe, uh, just day cab International Lone Star, which is quite ironic that I'm doing, uh, that again here. Uh, I just let the engine brake do its thing, I guess, because this traffic's a little slower. Um, it's quite ironic that I'm actually uh, running a day cab doing logs here again. Um, I've often seen with logs, uh, logging trucks in real life that they are just day cabs. So I don't know if I want to get tense. I almost probably blew up an engine there. Um, sounds, it seems like a little bit tighter of a corner. Oh, it's really not that bad. It's, oh, it's car not going fast. I can't see it. I'm not pushing it yet. Oh, there it is. Probably 11s is where it be. Oh man, it could have been probably 12. Man alive. Man, traffic's slowing down here. Where is the gear? Nines, maybe? Yeah, that'll do. Oh, uh, I need to be in that lane. Paying attention to the gears. Here we go. Almost. That would have been bad to get on the wrong side of the divided highway and then, uh, yeah, yeah. this uh, engine brake thing is a little interesting. It feels like it's an automatic engine brake, but I'm pretty sure my settings I have that off. So I'll have to check that after I've, I'm done recording that. I took that corner really wide for some reason. Uh, I'll have to check that. I mean, I guess the way to fix it is kind of just to use the clutch and it kind of tricks the game into thinking that I don't actually have anything engaged there, which, yeah, I'm not sure if it's just settings or... Uh, the truck itself so let me know if you uh, run kind of the same ish setup as or configuration that I do because uh, I'd like to know that um, I probably can hit 11s here yeah definitely because we can we can hang out around here around the 45 mile an hour mark oh another way station you gotta be serious and I think I have to actually be in the lane over here, don't I? I do. Two way stations in the matter of, gee, like 20 feet? No, I'm just kidding. A little bit more than 20 feet. That was a bit of an exaggeration. Uh, wait. Was that, is that the exact same as the last time, or is there a couple pounds difference? It, it could be actually a little bit less because of the fuel fuel loss. Uh, I want gear to want probably third. 
I don't need to be, uh, I'm gonna go fifth. We're gonna use some of the odd number gears here. I'm gonna go up to seventh. See if, uh, get back on the highway. Guess we're going for it. Couldn't really tell, but we're going for it. That'll do, and we're gonna get over. Hit, hit gear nine. We're just gonna go the odd number all the way up. Car. I was indicating and crossing over, and they just kind of keep going. Oh, the AI. You gotta love them. Uh, I guess 11th. Now I'm doing the odd numbers, so it's freaking my brain out. Go down to 10th, probably. Because we gotta keep coming down speed a little bit. Just drifted all the right th way through there. Don't need the indicator on anymore. Put it up to 11th. Man, man alive. I'm just, I, I find it easier just to commentate what I'm thinking than it is to try and uh, talk about some of the other uh, topics. And for the people who are still watching the video, I want to let you guys know that I have picked up SnowRunner. Um, it came on a bit of a sale there. A sale, a sale there, if I can actually speak my word. Uh, again, brain focusing on way too many tasks. My couple brain cells working a little too hard. Um, anywho, uh, so expect that to come very, very soon. Again, hopefully with the wheel cam. We'll find that one out. That actually may be the premiere of the wheel cam. Not 100% sure. Um, it's honestly going to depend on uh, how stuff gets set up and uh, when I want to actually put out the SnowRunner video. It is quite fun. I just gave it a little bit of a demo when I downloaded it. My word. Uh, it does not disappoint. It's it's a, uh, it's odd because it's like a lot of the reviews were saying. It's a slow-paced game. and I'm going to try and get up to the 13th. There we go. Um, it's slow-paced but just yet so intriguing. Um, and especially for me with now uh, this setup I have, uh, let alone the fact that um, my word, it could be just so much fun. See a Canadian try and drive in the snow. Um, but oddly enough, I didn't. I start. I think the starting bit of the map when you're doing a, ca a campaign is actually um, not snow. <laughs> they save the snow for later. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. But hey ho, it's uh, going to be a lot of fun trying to do some mud stuff and uh, we'll see how it goes so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to that and uh, hopefully it all goes well so let's uh we should be getting actually pretty close but look at the landscapes here we're in idaho people yeah no it, the idaho dlc uh is definitely uh an amazing one like all the new dlcs are for ats and like i was saying why uh, earlier in the video and i guess i'll come back on to it um, as far as I, as far as recording this video, uh, the latest news we have on Wyoming is just the second issue of the, um, the road networks. Uh, it's just part two basically, and uh, we got a turn coming up here, so we might as well start bringing this uh, down a little bit. Just start uh, breaking and indicating, I guess. Way too early. Uh, but there is a car coming, so I'll just class it as that. Bus. Hey, that wasn't too bad. I'll take that. That wasn't an awful uh, transition there uh, between road and stuff like that. So we'll just kind of keep it pretty slow through here because uh, we're coming up and we have to try and figure out where we're parking. Might as well uh, throw on the hazards. Because why not? Uh, where am I parking here? Is that a good question? I honestly think it is. Um, not 100% sure? Let's just uh, roll in through here. Good thing I got a high horsepower engine here. I keep putting it in second instead of uh, first. Uh, I'm going to go underneath the crane. Maybe not the smartest thing to do, but hey ho. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, I think you can actually drive up and over. Oh, no, you can't. Maybe that is how I get across here. Uh, oh, but you can, uh, I think, go around the building more. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to try and uh, see if I can get just turn around and go through the building here. So we're going to hug this corner over here and uh, start to really crank it all the way around and make our way kind of through the building here look at that oh I'm gonna make it 
Oh. That's close. That's gonna be really close. Uh. Let's see if I can. Oh, man alive. That got a little close for comfort. I think I just managed to scrape it in around there. Uh, that wheel. What's gonna happen here? Well, I think we're gonna keep going. Oh, it drops down. It. They simulated that. They simulated that. Tell you that much. Keep it going. There we go. Made it through that. That would not be good on the transmission, would it? Uh, but I know we're kind of in the spot, but I'm just gonna uh, pull ahead here a second. Uh, could have stopped there, but actually, you know what? I, I will just because don't have the uh, mod that... Come on, get in the reverse. Come on. Hello. Hello. There we go. Uh, oh, are you serious? I stalled it now? Stalled beginning and the end. Nice round trip. Uh, so let's get this thing. There we go. In spot. Just like that. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, kind of another interesting episode. Uh, of course, I'm still learning. Still have to get used to this whole transmission thing. Of course, lights turn back on when I stall it. Because, hey ho, my big fat fingers trying to hit the D-pad. Uh, but besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.